Hi, this is Deanna from Conde Mama, and this is the first video in the series I'm using to kick off the Carnival of Weaning. Um, I got this idea to do a carnival for weaning because um, it's just not a subject that's talked about a lot. When I posted on how I thought Kieran was weaning while I was pregnant, I had 150 or 175 responses from people that said, I felt the same way, I felt so alone, I wish I had somebody to talk to about it. So that is why I wanted to do this carnival of weaning. I got a few of my blogger friends together to talk about their experiences, and we had so much, um, so much to talk about, so many responses that this vision I had of one little video um, with little responses became five or six different videos. So this is the first one, and the question that the bloggers today are going to answer is, what did you do to prepare yourself and or your child for the weaning process? So I hope you enjoy, and I hope you get some ideas to help you as you start on your own weaning journey. We did, really didn't do a lot to prepare for weaning. I had mentioned it in passing to my son, just kind of explaining to him that one day he would reach the point that he didn't need his nenes, he calls nursing nenes, anymore, and that was okay. It would just be a step in him growing up and becoming, you know, growing into the man he would be one day. Um, when he did finally wean, he was down to only nursing once a day, once every other day, so even though I sort of led him to wean due to a difficult pregnancy, he was ready to do so. My daughter weaned really suddenly right after her first birthday. Um, I thought that it was just a nursing strike, and I worked with my um, little HA league leader to try a lot of different things. Um, to encourage her to continue nursing. Um, it had been my goal to nurse her until she was at least two, and I had always thought that it would be fun and or interesting to tandem nurse through another pregnancy um, and then with a sibling. But um, turns out, after Gemma turned the big one, she had other plans, and um, it just became a lot more stressful for her to, or for her to um, go back to nursing. She just wasn't interested, and um, she would just get upset, and or she would be pushing me away. And we tried everything under the sun for a good three weeks um, until. I just kind of decided that, um, you know, she was healthy and she was happy and she did not seem to be suffering even though I was pretty much an emotional train wreck. Um, and so I continued pumping after that um, uh, so that she could continue to have breast milk in a sippy cup and we actually still have quite a bit of milk in the freezer and she is almost 18 months now. Um, so we didn't really do anything to prepare for weaning because it really caught us off guard but um, that's how things that's how things went for us so I just figured that my older son Miko who's four and three quarters would have weaned himself naturally by now I was expecting that he would cut down on how long he nursed how frequently and it would just naturally phase out and he just would stop and he hasn't done that, and he would nurse all day long if I let him, which I don't. So one thing I've done to try to move him toward weaning is I've cut down the duration. And I started doing that when I was pregnant, and it hurt a lot to nurse. Um, so now we nurse twice a day, in the morning, and before bed. And we pretty much nurse in, like, specific places. We, never, we don't nurse outside anymore. We just nurse in the bed or on the couch downstairs. So I think that's going to help a little bit, you know, as we move toward weaning. I don't know what the weaning process will actually look like because we haven't done it yet. I really didn't have um, anyone or any way to prepare myself for weaning. It just kind of happened. Um, I was seven months pregnant and my son was still nursing. And then all of a sudden he just kind of started teetering off on his own and then 
he would go like two weeks without nursing at all and then all of a sudden jump back in nurse for a day and then be back off two weeks later and it was just kind of that way for a while with us and then he just stopped on his own um, the truth is I don't think I really did a whole lot to prepare for the winning process I tried to choose a time when I thought my children were ready I've weaned two children and I tried to choose a time when I felt that they were both ready and then I just took it slowly but there was no special um, anything that I did to prep for it and actually I don't think there's a whole lot that you can do to prepare for it trying to explain to a child that you know the day after tomorrow things are going to change when they're um, two or three years old as my children were is, is really hard so I just waited for a time that was good and then I went for it Weaning actually kind of snuck up on me with my first two babies. Um, my daughter was 19 months when she started showing signs of being ready to wean. And I was, uh, I had wanted to breastfeed her as long as she wanted. Um, I was very open to letting her self wean. So when she started to uh, show signs that she was ready, that she didn't really want to nurse uh, at bedtime anymore, I kind of just let her try going to sleep without it and she never asked for it. So after about a week of me trying to um, see, you know, what was going to happen, she just was done. And, you know, it was very a very smooth transition um, and everything was fine. Uh, with my son, my second uh, baby, he actually self-weaned himself at 13 months. So that was really shocking to me. I was not ready for that. Um, I guess in my case, I didn't really do anything to prepare ahead of time because both times it kind of happened quite suddenly, I guess. Uh, for me, the preparation was after the fact. After they had weaned, I had to uh, come to terms with it emotionally, um, so to speak. With my daughter, uh, I didn't really have such a hard time. I, I knew that she was ready and that she... Um, wasn't you know upset about it or anything like that but with my son I did struggle a little bit more as you know he did wean so early and um, and I just had to accept that that's what he wanted and that that's what uh, was right for us